Yeah, we were just at Menards, boys. Good morning. I just picked up 11% off at Menards, which is seemingly all the time. So I take advantage of it. I got some casters that have doubled in price. It's true. I got a hasp. I have some weld on hinges. And a uh, not wire cup brush because my other one is worn out. So we're going to do a little bit more on the project today. And I kind of ciphered on it a little bit, so I think we're going to start using a little rebar and diamond plate on the project, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. So I have this piece of rebar, and I'm going to cut it in half, basically. I'm going to weld it right on the top of this piece of steel that we, in the last video about this project, welded in these plates at the bottom of our build. And I'm going to set this right on top of it, half and half. Half inside the box, half outside the box. Because it's going to look badass. That's the only reason. You'll see. And then we're going to weld some diamond plate on top of this. We have to clean this up though. It's pretty bad. So like everything that I use as of late, everything's all rusty, so I have to clean this up. Now, I, ha I have to keep reiterating this so to as, as to avoid any confusion. First of all, that's the diesel heater going in the background. It's kind of noisy. I'm out here in the shop working, so I'm not wearing a microphone. So yeah, it is what it is. This Also, another thing I need to reiterate almost all the time is that this we just not a welding channel we just I'm not an expert welder I'm a hobbyist let's get that straight okay so as to avoid any confusion now that I have that out of the way please subscribe hit the like button I heard a lot of YouTube people say that I don't know if it works or not but I thought I'd throw that in there we're gonna get this cleaned up get it cut and then I'm going to show you how it's going to go. So the measurements on this are going to have to be exact. Well, there's no exact in metal work that I know of, but as close as we can get it. Exactly even with the frame. So it'll sit right on top of there. So I hope this morning finds you all well. And rested and ready for a really cold week. It's in the low 30s. We had our first snow. It's not not a lot to brag about. I think it's even less than less than an inch. A dusting of snow, but it the wind is howling. The skies are gray. It's just miserable out. <clears throat> Let me show you how much I wore this out. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a difference. We hold on to these though. We don't throw nothing that could be used in the future out. Ever. That's why it's so crowded in here. Heck yeah. So I'm going to use this to clean up the rebar and then I'm going to cut the rebar using my uh, battery operated DeWalt bandsaws. Yeah, buddy. I think we'll clean this whole piece up and then remeasure it so we can get it cleaned up.
make a whole bunch of different types of rebar for different uses, structural, weld on, welding, rebar, regular rebar. This is called free rebar, which is my favorite. Okay, we got this uh, tap down into place now we'll weld it up and we'll do the same thing on the other side and then we're going to put the diamond plate right in here and then we might dress it up here with some expanded metal or something like that and we'll work on the other side so i was thinking about making this a cabinet instead of a box i'll play that by ear Can't leave the door open anymore. Well, we could probably leave it cracked, but let's use our expensive gear. Okay, there's one side. See how nice that looks? It's got that nice trim to it. It's going to give it that three-dimension look. I'll piece in a piece of diamond plate there. But, well, you know what? I'll just do the other side. I already got it cut.
Okay, I got the plates cut. They're gonna go in there. It's gonna be badass. Let's weld the other, the, the, they're two different sizes because reason. Okay, we got one side pieced in. See that? Calling that good, except for the uh, touch-ups. Yeah, I like it. So dark. Let's see if I can lighten it up. Okay, that's all for today. I still have uh, other chores to do, and I gotta clean up in here, so yeah, we're making progress. We got two sides completely done. Here's one side. I mean, you gotta picture this uh, with it uh, smoothed out with 120 grit flap disc and paint and more designs we're probably going to put in here but you see how much nicer that looks with uh, this piece of rebar in here and the two different types of steel it kind of really sets it off with this round tubing and mix match other steel. Yeah, it's badass. Okay, I'm going to clean up and I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless. All right, now you sons of bitches. <laughs>